freedom of speech. It allows us to say things like, my boss is a giant dimple on legs without having to fear any consequences. Right? Is that right? And sometimes the fight for our First Amendment freedoms is fought by the unlikeliest heroes. My name's Andrea Dick. I'm back on May, the weekend of Memorial Day weekend. I, on that Friday, I put flags up, as you can see, that say, F Biden. Andrea Dick, who lives near a school, decked her home in profanity lace signs critical of President Biden. After Mrs. Dick was fined by the Roselle Park Code Officer, she took the town to court, lost, and then appealed. A legal battle that cost both sides thousands of dollars and led to a lot of mean Facebook comments. I see six flags, seven, if you count the yes, I'm a Trump girl, get over it. Why are, why are these seven signs so important to you? Because I feel, honestly, that Trump won this election in 2020. I literally think it was totally stolen from him. You know, I kind of knew you were a Trump supporter because I see that uh, you have the bust of his personal lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, on your front step there. What has Biden done to you? Let me tell you something. In the last four years, well, now it's passed, we were making money at my job. Everything was going great. We had tariffs on China, Canada, all over. So then why don't the signs say Trump won the election? Because I can't find anything with the election I unless see. I go okay. and have it made. <laughs> you didn't have these printed? No. Where were they printed? Believe it or not, China. So maybe Mrs. Dick's free speech was imported from communist China, but how could the mayor of Roselle Park, Joseph Signorello, an American, justify trying to silence her? I, I mean, I would say less silencing, more trying to make sure people are good neighbors, especially around children. If she had posted a sign up that said, I disagree strongly with Joe Biden, would you have come after her? She's had up like pro-Trump signs plastered all over her house for the last three years, which is totally allowable by our local ordinances. But the code states that you can't have um, explicit or offensive material, a poster or any kind of signage outside of your house. Wait, so the, the issue you have isn't with the message F Biden, it's with the actual word F Yes, it's inappropriate, you know? So, so you got uh, curse words in front of little kids, mm -hmm. um, and you got families that need to explain what the F-bomb means. I mean, I gotta be honest with you. First time I heard the word F was from a third grade New Jersey elementary school student. Roselle Park's snowflake mayor might be afraid of adult expression, but Mrs. Dick was determined to keep fighting for the use of her favorite four-letter word. Well, the judge asked me to take down one, two, three, Three of the signs, yeah. anything that had in it, he wanted me to take down. Yeah. And of course I didn't. One of the complaints is that these kids, these poor elementary school students, they're seeing such profanity here. Come on. They hear it at the park. They got the trash music going. Trash Never... music like, like Stomp when they play the garbage cans? No, and they start cursing. You know what I'm oh, talking okay, about, that yeah. rap shit they listen to, okay? Okay. DJ Karen's deep knowledge of rap music was unexpected, but would she be willing to do what many successful rap artists do and put out a clean version of her signs? How would you feel in order to protect your neighbor's kids if we hung this one up instead? No, I don't want that on my fence. Why not? Because I'd rather say F Biden, because that's how I feel about him. So why would I lose my First Amendment right and give in to them? That's why I fought it, because it was my First Amendment right. After a local heavyweight lawyer got behind her case, Mrs. D won her appeal. But what kind of wise guy defending fast-talking Jersey law shark had she found to represent her? The ACLU is the American Civil Liberties Union, and we serve to defend everybody's constitutional rights, regardless of the views they hold and regardless of who they are. Oh shit, it's the motherfucking ACLU? But why would they take this case? We're worried about the implications for everybody else, right? If you can't say Biden, then you won't be able to say Trump. The future president, Ted Cruz, Don Jr., Ivanka Trump. That's right. and and. You know, usually in our work, the people that we're representing are disfavored speakers or marginalized groups, Black Lives Matter protesters, immigrants' rights protesters. And we recognize that in order to protect that speech, we also need to protect speech that we disagree with. 
So the F word plus Biden was protected speech, but the town's rules were actually equating the F word to the idea of people F wording each other. Was that also protected? The ordinance that the city was trying to enforce here deals with obscene content, pornography, right? Mm -hmm. and, and nudity and things like that. But it can't be attached to something that has political value. The test is about making sure that we are protecting political speech every step of the way. So I can't display a video of myself in Roselle Park having sex. That would be a violation of obscenity. But what if now I'm wearing a Joe Biden mask? <laughs> is that protected now because it's the government? You'd have to ask an expert to look at the video before you put it up to determine whether or not it would violate the law. I have the video in my pocket right now. Do you, do we want to, do you want to watch it and we can figure that out right now? Uh, maybe off camera. So just like my satirical and arousing video, Mrs. Dick's sexually inappropriate but clearly political language was protected by our beloved American freedom of speech. You know, the fact that you can even hang this up and be protected legally, I think is a sign that this country is still kicking some ass. But I'm still not taking them down until Biden's out of okay. office. 2024. Okay. Then you can come back to me. Are you being a little bit of a dick? If that's what you want to call it, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay.